Welcome back everyone. I was firing up all my apps to start off my night and DoorDash beat everybody to the punch. I couldn't even get the other two on and I'm starting off with this one right here. So I'm ready to start my night. The only thing is with this restaurant, man, if it's any cooked hibachi stuff, I'm screwed. But it's not. It's all sushi rolls. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get in and out pretty quickly. So guys, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go make some money. Okay, order it dropped off and it is done. It was a leave at door, but the customer was waiting for me. So um, thanks customer, really nice of you. It ended up being this right here. Before I even continue on my evening, I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video, I'm starting my night off with this on DoorDash right here. I did it in four orders this afternoon, which um, score one for Kim, because I was able to go home early. It all worked out and here I am right now. As I was driving, man, the order, took me forever not the pickup the pickup was ready which was shocking because that restaurant isn't known to be on time but that's besides the point so I get in my car and I put on the GPS and it's I'm supposed to go five miles to the customer's house 22 minutes to go five miles I'm like what kind of crazy traffic is there I'm like I got this yeah no I didn't everywhere I turned I ran into traffic so I feel like a lot of times we talk about all the good of food delivery, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and all the wonderful payouts and how much money you can make and how much you can do a dollar per hour and it's all rainbows and stuff. It's not. <laughs> there are some ugly truths behind food delivery and traffic is one of them. And if you're like me and you're in a short area, touristy area, and um, people decide to take three and four day weekends on holiday weekends such as Father's Day you run into bumper to bumper traffic or if you go out during rush hour traffic you too can find yourself in rush hour traffic and you come to a complete stop just like I did. I figured tonight as I am going through my orders and talking with you guys I'll keep telling you guys my ugly truths behind food delivery whether it's DoorDash, Uber Eats, or Grubhub. But speaking of Uber Eats, I did take this order right here. I just pulled up to the restaurant. I'm gonna go and see whether it's ready. Last order dropped off. It was a simple leave at door. I only had to ring the doorbell. It was in there. So now I'm working on back to DoorDash with this order right here. I did take this ad on right here. So now I'm working on a $16 stacked order. One's one pizza place, one's like oh, a couple blocks away over there. But here is my next ugly truth. This time we'll set, well, it could be anyone. It could be DoorDash or Uber Eats. But since I'm on a DoorDash order, I'll make it DoorDash. Walked into the restaurant, it says and I'm specifically on time. Uh, it's gonna be another 10 more minutes, it's not ready yet. We will be waiting at restaurants. It could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 20 minutes. It's just up to you as a driver whether the order is worth it to stick around for it. In this case, 10 minutes, I'll stick around for it, but then you have to start if it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You know, don't get frustrated. Cancel if you have the cancellation. Be careful of your completion rate or your cancellation rate, depending on what platform you're in. If you cancel orders frequently, um, if you go under a certain percentage on both platforms, you could be at risk at deactivation. So just be careful, but you will have to wait at restaurants. It happens quite frequently, but it's something, actually I think that's something that we, a lot of us talk about, but the frustrating part, probably not so much, but before you get frustrated, don't, don't, don't do it. Let another driver take care of your frustration, pick up the order, and you move on to the next one. Dropped off. The first one was a leave at door, but the customer was actually kind.
kind enough because there was no parking. He met me right outside, so I really didn't even have to go too far, and I handed it off to them. Of course, took a picture, just in case. Cover your own self, cover your own butt. And then it ended up being this right here. And then the last one was Oliva Doric Gorgeous House, and it went to here. So total combined for the stacked order was $25.25. I wasn't expecting that, but pleasantly surprised. On the way back, I got this order right here, and I literally had to find parking. Okay, so ugly, another ugly truth. If you have restaurants in a downtown area, a very populated area, a city, parking can be a nightmare. In my area, parking is a nightmare. And I'm not in the city, but I have, I'm in the downtown area. So as a driver, you have to find all the hidden spots, so to speak. Um, I've developed mine over the years, I always say. I always find a parking spot, never a handicapped parking spot. I always have my own hidden spots. But if you don't, you could be walking. Like right now, even I have like my own hidden spot right now, I still have to walk a block to this next restaurant and then walk back just because of parking. So parking can sometimes be a nightmare and slow you down as a driver. So just beware. You guys are gonna keep me company. You're gonna walk with me. So straight ahead and hopefully I can get to it as soon as I click close to the restaurant. They close down the main street during the summer for dining, which is actually pretty cool if you're a diner. Not so cool if you are a delivery driver because it takes away a whole entire block of parking which is a real pain in the butt. I'm gonna actually show you the downtown area and all the dining before I go into the restaurant so you guys can actually see what I'm contending with. gonna go into my next ugly truth. I just delivered to an apartment complex. This call box was pretty easy. The instructions were actually right on the call box. I've delivered here several times, but not all apartment complexes are that easy. They are difficult. I swear some of them you need a college education just on call boxes because they are that complicated. Oh my god, even like the ones that actually take your picture and are digitalized, oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, a lot of times customers do not leave you notes and you have to use the call box on your own and sometimes I just can't figure it out. When that happens, always call contact the customer for instructions and if it is a hand it to me, start the timer as soon as you walk in that door. <laughs> So you're not wasting your time. Let me know. How are apartments for you? It's about the call boxes. Oh, call boxes. 
I just took this order right here. I'm going back to the restaurant I literally just picked up from. This time I found a parking spot. Things that make you so extremely excited. So my next truth about, or I should say ugly truth about food delivery, you can run into some rude and nasty customers restaurant workers, drivers. Guys, don't be one of those don't be one of those people. Be kind, be nice. It makes the world such a better place. And the reason why I'm I'm actually talking about it it made me remember the restaurant I'm picking up for and this was like years ago. I actually for a little while stopped going to pick up from this restaurant because all of the hostesses were not nice at all to drivers. They like thought drivers were like beneath everybody and it was just not a good experience. So they must have had a turnaround. I tried them again a couple of years ago and I haven't had a problem since, but sometimes you do run into people that aren't quite nice to drivers, whether that be restaurant customers, other drivers, but you know what? It's how you react to them. Keep a cool head. Be kind. I always kill people with kindness because it makes them look even more stupid. <laughs> okay, so this time I got a lot closer to the restaurant. So that's actually really exciting. So now you get to see downtown dining from a different angle. So I guess that's pretty cool. <laughs> one for you. There are some nights it is so incredibly slow you just want to go home and tomorrow is a new day. There are other nights like I'm having tonight that you want to keep on going because the money's coming in and you don't want to leave any money on the table but you don't know when to quit and go home. As a driver you need to find the balance between both of them and do what's right for you and I'm gonna leave you on that. I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna leave you guys right here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure that that bell is turned on and everybody don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. If you're driving, please stay safe and healthy. Remember kindness is always free. Love you guys and I'll see you next video. Peace out. If you liked this video and want to see others like it, go ahead and check this out right here. New to my channel? Don't forget to subscribe and everyone leave me a comment.